All right, there we go. So we have uh, Facebook and Instagram are both live now, and we will begin. All right, so this week uh, we read the weekly portion of Kisavo. Uh, in it, Moses instructs the Jewish people, when you enter the land which God has given you as your eternal heritage, and you settle it and cultivate it, you must bring the first ripened fruits of your orchards to the Holy Temple and declare your gratitude for all that God has done for you. As Americans, we have days dedicated to gratitude and thankfulness. Veterans Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and of course Thanksgiving. This week's portion discusses one particular mitzvah which is completely devoted to expressing gratitude, the mitzvah of Bikurim. During the Temple era, every farmer was commanded to bring their first fruits to the Holy Temple. We all know the importance of showing and expressing gratitude, but why do we need a specific commandment just for this? Our day is already filled with thank yous. We start our day every day in the morning with the Modani, thanking God for returning our soul to us. Three times a day in our daily prayers, we thank God for literally everything under the sun. Before we eat, we have a prayer of thanking God. After we eat, we have a prayer of thanking God. There's even a blessing we recite upon exiting the restroom, thanking God for normal bodily functions. With all the thanking that occurs on a daily basis, why do we have the need for a specific commandment to emphasize this point? The Rebbe points out one obvious difference between Bikurim and all the other ways we thank God. Bikurim, the commandment of bringing the first fruits to Jerusalem, involves more than just words. It requires a commitment. The gratitude must express itself in deeds. Bikurim implies that our thankfulness to God cannot remain in the realm of emotions, thoughts, or even speech, but must also move us to action. We must realize that while saying thank you and showing gratitude is important, it is also important to bring that through to action. So, today we have Four Roses Single Barrel. I uh, haven't had this in a long time. We will uh, give it a taste tonight. This is 60% corn, 35% uh, rye, 5% malted barley. Um, it is a uh, 100 proof, 50% alcohol. It does not have an age statement on it, um, but we know it's at least two years old. Um, let's see, it's got a uh, kind of light color, a little uh, orangey, a little yellowish orange. Pretty light nose, got a little uh, vanilla. A little fruity, but kind of light on the nose, not a lot there. Wow. A lot more flavor in the uh, on the palate than it gave off on the nose. I'm getting some honey, a lot of sweetness. Um, like a fruity sweetness, like a fig kind of, like that uh, uh, thick, heavy, honeyish uh, type flavor, along with uh, a decent amount of spice, some cinnamon. A lot of flavors going on in there. Finish kind of grows on you, coming down nice and smooth, uh, kind of like a faded taste. Uh, still got that honey, that sweetness, um, and some uh, spice starts coming in towards the end, uh, like a lingering heat just warming down uh, the throat and all the way down. It's a really interesting finish. Yep, this one was delicious. Really enjoyed it. A little light on the nose, um, but the uh, the palate and finish uh, really uh, took over on that one. So again, that's the uh, Four Roses Single Barrel. Um, as always, single barrels will vary from barrel to barrel, but uh, this one was great. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up.
And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest videos. Thanks so much. L'chaim.